Well, this is the next gig. Got all these white knockouts here on this building. Actually, two buildings. For whatever reason, we had to come in here before a rainstorm, but all the rain was running behind the round bricks here, running down and just dumping into the units, man. I mean, I dumped a half a glass of water in there before I could fill the glass again. The lady inside was like, stop, stop, it's coming in. So we're covering this whole mess with steel plates, taking them up under the brick ledge, silicone and all around them. I let the steel hang down about two inches for a drip edge so it ain't blowing back up into the lintel. Well, this worked out pretty good. Just hung a couple straps on the man lift, hook the sheets on it, run them up. There's a ton of work here too. We gotta re redo a bunch of stuff here, man. <laughs> this building's been band-aided like three times, man. I can stick my pocket knife through that. I already done it. Look at these fine welds somebody did. Holy freaking shit, man. Obviously, nobody knew how to weld and didn't care, I guess. So, the whole thing's like that, though. What they should have done was they should have put a drip edge, some flashing underneath the concrete here. That would have covered, you know, came on out. Right now, everything's running behind the steel plate here. So it's just rusting the hell out of everything. This is a plate somebody put on top of the other one. So it's been band-aided at least twice, if not three times. But I'm gonna go ahead and take out an inch or two of concrete here and do what I gotta do to get some flashing in there. I'm coming in here on these here. I'm doing three new columns right out the gate, five by five. This is just S4 I-beam. This is what they use for cross beams on tractor trailers. Who in the hell thought they'd make support columns? I have no clue, but I don't know if you can see it in the video, but that end one, it's bowed pretty bad. Can't hardly see it in the video, but it's just crazy. But yeah, literally $100 worth of flashing would have saved this whole project, man. It's not much better underneath. It's kind of funny underneath whoever did it. <laughs> I don't know, they must have screwed up their spacing or something. Not quite sure what they did. But they turned around and came in here and <laughs> stuffed three quarter inch pipe up in there just to try to fill the void. I'm not quite sure what that was all about originally, but this thing's just not far from coming down. So this is what I'm doing on my brackets. I'm just kind of straddling the concrete. I don't want to blow the concrete out. This stuff's pretty old. I'm gonna build some brackets and set them on top of the foundation lip here. And that way they can't go anywhere and the way it'll be down on them. And then off my new support columns, I'll come up in underneath here. We're actually coming in here, coming down about four inches, running new five inch C channel all the way across. And then I'll put some kickers in here on my new channel and a piece of angle here to re-support this. And then I'll do like some six inch flashing up here, get underneath this lip, bring it on over and down. A, that'll conceal it a little bit. B, more importantly, it'll keep water from continuing to run down in there. Literally a hundred, hundred dollars worth of flashing would have saved this job. But gotta take out everything too. Everything's getting replaced, all this screen railing. And the only thing I'm not taking down is the stair stringers. And they're not bad. And this was stupid here too. This rail section here, it's clear out here on the S4. And this one over here, rather than doing the same thing, they tucked it behind. Well, when they did that, it was in the way of the stair stringers. So they ended up coming in here and hacking the bottom flange out of the stair stringer. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and resupport that. The whole thing's just stupid. I mean, look at these welds, man. My granddaughters know how to weld better than that, man. And they've never welded. What the hell, man? Some of the shit you see in the trade is just freaking unreal. And this is the worst side. And this side gets all the weather. So, but we got 32 of those white knockouts the guys are covering. Siliconing around them. And going to be down here for about the next month. So, hopefully the weather hangs in there. It ain't too bad now. Looks like we had a storm coming in. Up slope here in about 10 days, so... Everybody be safe. Have a good day.